visit eaglerunnerbill.com. Hey, it's Eagle Runner Bill here. Here I'm making a solder splice. You just solder the two wires together and then cover it with an insulator. Here I'm using shrink tubing. This is good for wires that move around. Here's a butt splice, another way to put two wires together. But this doesn't work too good if the wires move a lot. So here's how I do a solder splice and uh, some trailer light wiring. First I'll take the wire, take a wire stripper, strip three quarters to an inch of the insulation off on the end. And I do the, uh, then do the other side that I'm going to splice it together with. And here you might want to put your shrink tubing on if you, if you can't once you have it soldered together. Then I'll take the wires and I'll crisscross them and try to twist them together. Now on butt splices, you have to worry about them loosening up if the wire has a lot of movement. But a solder splice is a little bit more rigid and holds together better. So I recommend doing the solder splices on wires that you're connecting that are moving. And here I'm going to tear, take a pair of vice grips to hold the wire while I'm soldering it. And today it's pretty chilly. It's like 45 degrees out and it's windy. Usually I'd use a pencil solderer. But with this temperature I'm going to have to use this weller. The trick here is you heat up the wires and hopefully get them warm enough where they'll suck up the solder. Buy solder that contains flux. Otherwise you'll have to use some flux too. And you just want a neat even coating of solder. You don't want a big glob like what I have there. You got to get rid of that. So let me see if I can trim that up. Remember with soldering it's just a nice thin coating. When you're done, it should be nice, bright, and shiny, and look even. It's not the bigger the glob, the better the job. So let me see if I can fix this, get rid of this glob. Like I said, it's kind of hard soldering being it's so cold out. And that looks pretty good to me. Once it cools down, make sure you have a good, secure connection there. Everything looks good. Then you just slide your shrink tubing over the wire. Your shrink tubing, of course, you want it larger than your wire, maybe double the size of your wire. And you take that, and I'll cut the shrink tubing about double the length of my bare wire that I created with the solder connection. And just slide it on here. And I'm going to use a hair dryer to shrink this tube. Seen any seen many different ways to shrink it. And then when once I get it all shrunk, it's a pretty good sturdy job. It'll last a long time. It'll take more abuse than a butt splice. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.